Hi guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tizen Tara and I do all things beauty, plus size fashion, hair care, so on and so forth. But today I am excited. Elf is a brand which I have had an up and down relationship with. I feel like I say that quite a lot. Do I say that quite a lot? I'm not sure. But Elf is a brand which I feel like I've had an up and down relationship with. Sometimes their things are super hit and miss. Uh, someone on my Instagram stories commented and said, have you tried the new Elf matte, sorry, matte mint. That's a good start. The new Elf mint collection, uh, mint, mint melt collection. Now, if you know me and if you have followed me for a while, you will know that I am not a huge fan of scent. Scent in makeup, scent in skincare is a kind of pet peeve of mine. So I am skeptical as to whether I'm going to like these things. Um, but there are a few other things that I picked up as well. Um, I picked up one of the new blushes that I can't wait to use. I think this is going to complement my skin tone. And I picked up the Flawless Finish Foundation. I've seen quite a few reviews on this. And obviously, due to coronavirus, there are absolutely no testers, no ways of testing in store. Um, so me and my cousin, Natifa, shout out Natifa. Me and my cousin were in super drugs um, picking up this stuff. Because I said, someone asked, and I'm going to go and pick up the stuff and give it a whirl. Um, we were picking up all this stuff and we were trying to match ourselves in the worst lighting and in five minutes flat. So you'll have to bear with, if this isn't the right match for me... It isn't the right match for me. We move. Um, I already have their concealers, which I love. Um, so these kind of products, I'm just going to... You can see that one is almost empty. Um, yes. So I'm going to go through what I picked up and the details. I only picked up two things from the Mint Melt collection. But I think it's enough to get a feel for this collection. So the collection has a good amount of items. It has a couple of glosses. Um... I am not a fan of peppermint or plumping glosses. None of the shadow eyeshadow sticks were in stock, so I couldn't pick up those. The eyeshadow, the mint melt eyeshadow little quads or palettes are four pounds, and I picked up this one. I picked up this one because I think the two browns are beautiful. Um, so I picked up this one knowing that the two browns would be very wearable, and the other two shades we see how we go. It depends how silvery that gold is. That green looks gorgeous. I should probably just open this. That really didn't want to open. I can see a crack in that brown shade. I hope that's not going to become a problem. Oh my god, yeah, it's super bad. You can see that on camera. Anyway, the palettes were £4. I'm hoping that that brown shade does not fall out you can see that crack but this brown shade is calling my name and that is a super good this middle one this this kind of mid-toned brown it's a nice crease color for me to deepen up my crease so I'll see what I'm gonna do with it I can't believe it's already got a crack in it but anywho I also picked up the cooling face primer um cooling yeah I thought I said it wrong because I kind of just guessed but the cooling face primer this is eight pounds and the palette is four and the blush I think was five pounds if I'm correct um I'll put the price down below um I'm still in the mint collection screen I don't want to come out just yet so they have a cooling face primer which I bought they have the mini the mint melt eyeshadows they have a cleansing cloud which is also four pounds they have the glosses which are four pounds they have a mint melt brush trio um and they are eight pounds they are very cute and would look very like very cute in like a flat lay for my instagram but no i didn't need um there was a mint melt whipped face mask i remember reading the ingredients and saying absolutely not the fragrance is about halfway up so I kind of said no, um, but titanium dark side. The first three or four ingredients are pretty good. Triglycerides, they've got glycerin, they've got um, sheer butter. Yeah, they've got a few good ingredients, but I remember thinking no. I don't know if I managed to smell it or what it was, but I think it was that the fragrance was fairly high up in the ingredients, so I said no. Um, 
and the last thing I bought was the flawless finish foundation I got the shade suede it looks like an okay match for me I'm not sure how it's gonna go um, it's seven pounds fifty boots do have a boots super drugs do have a three for two at the moment so i believe i did get something free um i did three for two and i got like the foundation and the primer and something else maybe the blush for free um which is pretty good and they have good points um like the point system as well so you're getting points and then you'll end up spending those um let me tell you how much the blush was it's the putty blush and it was six pounds okay six pounds not bad um, I really want to try the Primer Infused Shimmer Blush. That looked pretty cute. Um, I used to have the powder, br the powder blush quads as well. And I really enjoyed those from e.l.f. So, not at the moment, but when I am at work, I need something that's going to last me 15, 16 hours. Um, I need something that isn't going to separate. I need something that is re-blendable throughout the day. Because I'm stairs and running here and running there and busy. I tend to sweat. And if I've got a full face of foundation on and then my layering on top, concealer, blush, highlight, etc., primer underneath, those kind of layers, they can separate and move around. And then sometimes that's not fixable throughout the day. Um, other than the Maybelline, Maybelline Superstay, I think it's $9.99 and go-to, absolute go-to. And I, I stand, I stand by it. So um, taking that aside, other than that, every foundation I've tried has been almost trash. Yeah. But... I'm skeptical okay um two things which I have tried and have loved are the elf concealers um now I have an oily t-zone and I tend not to use much hydrating products they have the 16 hour camo concealer and then they have the hydrating camo concealer now funnily enough I believe that these are the same shade these are the same shade in two different concealers i know that happens quite often but i was like kind of blown away when i saw them um side by side and i was like how are they so different so these are both in deep caramel and they are just completely different shades like completely different um i have literally been talking forever now so I am going to jump into these products um, if you want to see me use these e.l.f. products and give you my full review. Jump to the end if you just want the review. I do that. I forgive you. It's cool. Um, if you want to see my thoughts on this e.l.f. stuff, then keep on watching. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead with the 16-hour camo concealer. I'm just going to put that. You can see how bright it is. I'm going to put that on my eyes as an eye base. Today I'm going to be using the Zucala 22 piece makeup brush set that Zucala kindly sent over to me. The brushes are gorgeous and I've had experience with their brushes before. I have bought them before and I've loved them so I was really excited when they said they were going to send me this to be honest to blend this out. I'm just going to use my real techniques and as you can see when my eyebrow when my eyebrows are like this I really don't do very much to them because I have so much brow they can be quite difficult to define without just threading them you know and getting that shape that you need so I tend to just um, fill them in as best I can I don't really have many gaps to be honest but I tend to just fill them in a little and um, go from there so I'm gonna go into this primer I like that it has a pump and I do like the kind of tube okay it's green interesting hmm okay right off the bat I'm gonna say I don't hate the smell. 
It's a very sticky, sweet kind of mint. I expected a kind of overpowering peppermint for some reason. I do like how it feels quite, I don't know if you can just about see that, feels very tacky. Um, I'm going to apply a little bit of glow. Um, I don't know how dark this foundation is going to be, but um, I'm going to apply the Molten Block Body Glow from Revolution because it's handy. Perfect. Guys, wish me luck. So I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Flawless Finish Foundation in Suede. I don't want to get anything on my top. Let me see if I can. Okay, it needs a shake. Can you see that? It's completely separated. And it needs a good shake. But it, it we might be okay colour-wise, guys. We we might be okay. Get that off my hand. Hmm. It's not the worst colour match ever, I guess. Um, I don't know about the coverage. So that's one pump on this side of my face. And it hasn't seemed to do very much. Okay, that's a full pump now. We'll see. It's not unpleasant, but there is like a smell to this foundation as well. And once it settles in, seems to be a very nice foundation. <laughs> I dare say, for £7.50, I'm quite shocked. Just taking off any excess product. Um, so, I am going to conceal. I'm going to conceal with both the Hydrating Camo Concealer and the 16 Hour. It's the nine mine. Get out where you're up, down, na, na. going to do something super simple with this palette super simple and super wearable I'm taking like a flat angled brush and I'm gonna just pop okay hello pigment the pigment is there guys I'm gonna pop this dark chocolatey brown I'm gonna just sweep it into my crease but I think I'm actually going to take it all over the lid. Everything on display, not think about that way. Well, who want to wine good wine in me? And who want to junk it charm in me? And who want to wine good wine away? I was going to use this kind of flat brush, but I'm actually going to use this really tiny, dense, fluffy brush. I just want to see what the pigment is offering. Um, I was going to lay down my P. Louise 
base um, but I'm going to use that for something else. I want to see what the pigment of this green is offering. Okay, pigment is there, pigment is there, pigment is nice. I'm just blending the edges together a little so it's not like a super harsh line. Cute. Okay, so far so good on the grey jumper as well. I'm going to do the other eye, pop on some lashes and I'll be back. Okay, so I've done my eyes so you can see the look. And let me know what you guys think. I'm about to go into the e.l.f. contour palette in deep, which looks well used. Um, but I, I really like the depth of these shades. So as you can see, that one is the one I used the most. These two are the ones I tend to bronze with. Um, and I deepen up if, if I feel like it. Um, I'm going to go in with this Angle Do Colour Brush. The thing I love about this palette is the pigment. It wasn't expensive, but the pigment is there, so you don't have to work too hard. And <sighs> done. I'm not about working hard in makeup. Take that back in case my boss is watching. Focus. I'm going to go into the Putty Blush in Bahamas. Feeling the name. I'm tempted to go in with my finger. Okay, it's not scary. It's not scary pigment. I'm actually tempted to go in with a beauty blender. Should I? Shouldn't I? Okay, it's quite nice. I don't know how, I'm just gonna go in with the Beauty Blender instead. I don't know how I feel about the texture. I'm funny with blush anyway. I don't wear much of it at all. Like this whole Instagram trend where you put it all the way across your face or you use lipstick or something. Like that is my worst nightmare because I have such a round face and my face is big, so I don't need no big, round cheeks. Like, my cheeks are already big and round. I don't need no big, round, red cheeks, or glossy cheeks, or pink cheeks. You know, to accentuate the roundness, for lack of a better term. But I like how this has come out. I, I don't think it's too much. I don't know if you guys... I don't know how it comes off on camera, because I know sometimes things really... I didn't contour my nose at all, but I'm not really going to do much of that. I'm gonna use my trusty spectrum my trusty spectrum kind of fluffy brush um, and I tend to just I'm gonna go into that gold shade I'm just dabbing that on I don't know if you can see how subtle that is but I like it The coverage of this foundation is so light you can actually still see my freckles on my nose and I kind of like that. I mean in these times I'm all about like wearable, wearable glam. Okay world's quickest lip I'm going to use the Revolution Velvet Kiss Lip Crayon in TGIF. Might be a little bit little bit warm for what I wanted but we move and next I'm going to take the NARS uh, Velvet Lip Glide in Stripped which is a beautiful kind of nudie shade okay okay you guys this is the final look Tell me what you guys are thinking. Tell me if you're feeling 
the eyeshadow palette the most because I think it's such it's funny because it's so inexpensive and it's such a simple I mean it's such a simple palette there's two browns one kind of goldy I didn't check the gold in there and let me swatch that for you guys because I remember saying if it's kind of too silvery shimmery I'm not really going to use it it's actually a beautiful beautiful gold it is kind of champagne-y I'm just going to swatch the green side by side so you can see The green reflex are gorgeous. Um, I kind of did say that the, the it was a beautiful gold, and it is, but in the light, you can see it is giving me silvery vibes. That's all I'm going to say. Um, but they have beautiful pigment. I will say they wiped away very easily, so I'm intrigued to see how long this is going to wear on my eyes. I'm not doing anything super strenuous today, um, but we shall see. Uh, I did go ahead and put the P. Louise base along my lash line and just smoke that out a little bit. Um, so tell me what you guys think. I'd be intrigued to know. The foundation so far is so good. It's definitely not full coverage. I don't know if it says that. A lightweight formula blends naturally for a beautiful semi-matte finish. Restores uneven facial skin textures and tones for visibly brighter skin. Available in various tones. Cruelty free and vegan. Amazing. Use a foundation brush or sponge to blend the formula onto for sheer coverage mixed with moisturiser. Okay. Well, it, it doesn't say full. I'm guessing it's medium. And it's definitely giving me medium vibes. I mean, it hasn't covered all the pigmentation around my mouth, which is darker in these corners. I mean, obviously, I've got concealer on, so my eyes look okay. Um, it hasn't completely covered, like, some of the scarring like i don't really have tons of scarring but there is a scar there i know and there is a scar there as well and above my eyebrow it hasn't covered but i mean it depends i feel like it depends what you're after because this is enough coverage for me i would go out in this depending on where and how it fares but i would go out in this i would go to work in this i would go everywhere in this so this is enough coverage for me, but I am not a full coverage kind of girl. I don't mind the full coverage look every now and again, but I have to say this is enough for me. And for £7.50, depending on how long it lasts, I don't think you can go wrong. Bearing in mind the Revolution CC Cream that I tried, um, I'm sure that was about £12. Definitely over 10. 10 and over, definitely. So for £7.50, especially when it's on a 3 for 2, you can't go wrong. Um, I actually liked the primer. I tend to, like, prove myself wrong a lot on this channel. So um, I really, really liked the primer. The primer smelled really good. Um, I didn't think it was going to because, like I said, I'm not really a fan of mint. I love the colour, um, but I'm not really a fan of the smell and I don't really go for, like makeup lines and skincare lines with fragrances in them themed fragrances and stuff it's just not for me um so i really liked this and i will continue to use this with and without that foundation surprisingly enough and the star of the show i have to say is the is the putty the putty blush i don't know if you can even see it's it's subtle because i haven't put tons on but depending on how it wears i've used only a tiny bit tiny tiny bit on the fingers dab it on sponge boom bam like love 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 i have featured this on my instagram before i haven't featured it here um but i'm a huge fan of elf palettes i loved their blush palette which came in exactly like the same kind of quad style packaging like this got a huge mirror um and big big fan of, of this um one thing that i I kind of use under my eyes I don't use it very much they have this blotting powder and this is in the shade deep and I say take that with a pinch of salt because I wouldn't call this deep it might be deep for under the eyes maybe but it's got like a gray kind of taupey tone to it which I don't enjoy this is kind of old so I'm not sure if they still have this um the shadows are super pigmented um for four pounds I would say like 10 out of 10 to be honest and that's taking into account how much I spend on eyeshadow how much I spend on eyeshadow palettes I have to say 10 out of 10 because you can't get better than four pounds for four shadows that are this pigmented that you could create 
cute looks with. Um, I also have to say I'm really impressed with the um, the two browns. I'm impressed because of the depth, I'm impressed because of the perfect kind of caramelly transition shade which I don't often find in drugstore brands. Um, I tend to find more in black owned brands because these shades are pretty deep for like lighter skin tones so um, I, he I hesitate to say it was made with deeper skin tones in mind but this for me is a win. I would definitely recommend it. I think I'm going to pick up the other one. I'm sure there's another um, one, another palette in this collection. So, shout out to Elf. You guys keep doing what you do, bringing us these affordable um, products that really are coming for the high end. I mean, I'm not, like I said, I'm not obsessed with blush. I'm not a blush girl, but over a £20 MAC blush, I'm probably going to go for this £6 e.l.f. blush, not going to lie. Um, this all depends on the wear test. I will update you guys on my Instagram um, a little bit later to tell you if my face is still intact. We shall see. But let me know what you think about the products in the comments below. Let me know if there's anything else that you have picked up from the collection which you love, which you hate. And um, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves. Um, we are not out of the woods yet. I hope you're staying safe. I hope your family are well. And I will catch you in the next video. Take care, guys.